What up, people? Thank you very much for tuning into my channel. It's Beer Monster O'Clock. And uh, for today's review, we've been a little bit posh and uh, we've been to MS to check out this lager and uh, give it a little review for you guys and let you know what I think of it. Um, it's the Belgium lager and it's in a nice lime green can. Uh, well, it's not really nice, it's quite ugly, really, isn't it? Uh, it's 440 ml can, this one. I picked it up in a four pack. Four pack of these cans was five pound fifty. They're four hundred and forty mil cans. They're five percent ABV, and they're brewed by the Hatch Brewery, based in Belgium, of course. Decent brewery. Hopefully, it'll be a decent lager. Although it is MS home brand, they do, uh, as you can see there, but they do tend to get decent breweries in to brew their beers. But for me, they're a bit hit and miss. Hopefully, this one's going to be a hit. So let's shut up, crack her open, and get into this review. It's very excited to see me. It's uh, busting out the can. Can smell a little bit of citrus on the opening. All right, let's get it in the glass. We we'll use a Stella glass for this one, being as it's a lager. And I like drinking out of Stella glasses. It's just a shame that the UK version of Stella is absolutely rubbish now, because uh, it's been messed about with too much. So if you're gonna drink Stella, I advise get the Belgian one, which you can sometimes find it in little offies and stuff like that. Just don't get the 4.6% version, whatever you do. Right, beer in the glass. I think I did pour it quite aggressively because uh, I'm a very thirsty boy. But as you can see, that has got a massive head and it looks like it needs a cone and a little bit of strawberry sauce on top. Great levels of carbonation. It looks a bit pal, doesn't it? it does look quite pal, has a little close up look of the beer for some beer porn for you guys. Uh, I would say that carbonation is going absolutely mental. And it is quite a power lager. Look at that head, it's still rising. I just feel like... <laughs> no, I'm not going to do it. Let's check out the aroma, if I can uh, smell anything through this massive head. That is a really foamy head. I'm going to have to sort of... I couldn't smell anything. It smells nice. The uh, foam tasted quite nice as well. Grassy, lemony. Quite basic, but quite nice smelling lager. You know, lagers don't smell of all that much, do they? This one's no exception, but what it does smell like, it smells pretty good. Let's see if it tastes any good. And let's give it a little bit more of that head. I do apologize. I just want to get the whole can in, you know? Anyway, cheers, everybody. I say cheers in Belgium. God, does it even say on my little sign? Let's have a look. Uh, I don't believe it does. So, yeah, let me know in the comments, guys, if you know how to say cheers in Belgium. But I'm just going to say it in English. Never mind. Cheers, everybody. Bosh. First impressions, the taste doesn't quite follow the aroma, uh, it doesn't taste as nice as it smells, I mean by that. Uh, it's a little bit watery and it's very thin in the mouth, it's a little bit watery, it's not a great uh, deal of flavour going on here to be honest with you. Let's go again. Quite a sweet lager, bit of a hoppy sort of citrus note in there with lemon for me. Uh, there's not there's not a lot going on. Slightly reminds me of like a wet kind of um, cardboard sort of taste to it. I don't know why. You do get that sometimes though. It's not the first time I've come across it. Yeah, uh, I'm quite surprised that it's not that good because it's by a great brewery. But this is definitely not one of uh, Belgium's finest beers, let's say. Uh, but it's not awful. You know, it's not that expensive, is it? 550, especially for Marks and Spencers. So perhaps they've 
got out of a decent brewery and tried to get them to brew like a an affordable beer. You know, it is their home brand. They're sort of, you can tell they're holding back with this one for me. Um, because I've tried their other beers and they're a fantastic brewery. I think they just tried to knock one out there on the cheap. A little bit florally as well. A little bit of a bitterness on you, nothing much. Uh, yeah. I don't think it's all that. I really don't. Don't be fooled by the whole MS thing. Uh, with this one anyway, if you are in MS and you want a lager and you see this on the shelf, right, I'll give you a bit of advice. Walk straight past it, yeah, carry on, and then when you get to the part where you see their Czech Pilsner or their German lager, go and grab them two because them two are absolutely fantastic, so much better than this. I've been very surprised if anyone prefers this over the uh, MS Czech or German uh, own brand lagers. They're so much better. Do yourself a favor. Don't waste your money. Go and get one of them too. If you agree with me, let me know in the comments if you've tried all three. Because for me, this is by far, of the, them three lagers, of the MS lagers, the worst. It's not terrible. It's not the worst beer in the world, but the other two are just really exceptional, high quality beers. They're like nine out of tenners. This is more of a, well, you'll find out in a minute. Yeah, the other two, the other two are just, just better than this. You know, and they come in nice big bottles as well. I think they're six, 660 mils or I can't remember, but they're at least 500 mil anyway. Just, I don't really like the mouthfeel of this one. <coughs> mouthfeel of a glass of water. Um, it, it, it's not bad, you know, there's, there's much worse lagers out there. Um, I was just expecting a bit better because I was basing my expectations having tried the uh, Czech pills and as I say and the German lager which but they were are absolutely fantastic this one's just average for me I'll give it a 7 out, 7 out of 10 I suppose perhaps slightly generous even with that but yeah I'll give it a 7 out of 10 and uh, check out be sure to check out my reviews of the Czech and German uh, MS beers if you've not seen them and uh, you'll see what I mean they're definitely uh, a step above this one and a while ago since I had them so uh, I might look a little bit younger in the reviews not really it's only a couple of months ago um, yeah thanks for tuning in guys hit the like button uh, it really does help my videos gain a bit of traction because I'm only a little wee channel and I can't compete with the big boys so any help you can give me would be much appreciated and uh yeah, consider subscribing to the channel as well and hit the little bell button uh, and we'll just let you know when i bring out a new video you'll see what beer it is and if you're interested in the beer you can watch it if you like if you're not interested in the beer wait till the next time the little bell goes off and uh you might like that one and uh <laughs> chat to me in the comments guys uh, i love hearing from you as i really do uh do like a bit of interaction and uh till the next one guys what can i say bye bye darlings